The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King once said that uh, in, in a private conversation that he was concerned that uh, African Americans were integrating themselves into a burning house. Uh, today, as cities, as cities are burning uh, in the wake of George Floyd and others, murders, uh, other unarmed black people by police, uh, caller Michelle echoes Dr. King asking why after all this time black people are still being denied the rights that they've been fighting for for centuries. Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And Michelle in Denver. Hey Michelle, what's up? Um, yeah, we know what this is. Black people, every time we take 10 steps forward, this is something that's always existed in our fight and struggle for equality. It's a dog whistle. These guys are out in the open now. Trump has allowed them to be out in the open along with the GOP. It's a way to continue to oppress us. And what other communities need to do is see it for what it is and call it out and do something about it. We're sick and tired of fighting this fight. We're tired. Why do we have to continue to do it? Why do we have to continue to point it out to people that we just want to live? We deserve the right to live. We deserve the right, right to be. Earned our, we've earned our full citizenship in this country. We've given blood, sweat, and tears. We fought in our own civil, civil war, for heaven's sake. We fight in the military now, and we're still unequal in this country. It's absolutely sickening and disgusting. We're afraid to leave our homes. We tell our children to put our hands up, put their hands up for heaven's sake, do whatever is necessary. And that young man that was shot was afraid. He was literally afraid for his life because that's the fear that's been instilled in us for 400 years. It has to stop now. We're the minority. We can't keep fighting this fight anymore. We can't. We need that help. And these young people understand we've been doing this for 400 years, so settle in. Because this is not going to get resolved overnight. It's not. We know. We know how hard it's been to do this, to, to have this struggle. And we're tired of fighting this fight. I'm sitting here doing a timeline of our history for work. And just the amazing things that have been done over time, that's not even in the history books. I demand that it be put in there. I demand that we have people in there that have been in the struggle other than Dr. King and Medgar Evers and, and uh, Malcolm X. There's plenty of more people that have participated in this movement. There's plenty of people that have invented things in this country that have brought America value, but yet we're still devalued. We are still devalued in this country, and you want us to fly this flag? No, I'm not flying a flag that doesn't respect my rights. I'm not. I fly the Colorado flag because I refuse to fly a flag. Yes, I'll kneel because I'm tired of being oppressed. I'm 52, and I'm tired. And I can't imagine other people that are tired. I'm black and white. My mother was told they only had a choice of three military bases when my dad brought her back to this country. And that is her first learning lesson of how racist we are. Colorado was one of the only bases that would accept us. There was only two others. This has to stop. We contribute. We're tax-paying citizens, and somebody needs to tell Trump to shut the hell up. Shut up. Shut up and stop doing tormenting us and stop inciting this. It cannot keep going on like this. It can't. Just understand we're tired and we're frustrated, and we don't know how to end this anymore, and we need the help. We need the help. I'm tired of crying and wondering about my niece and nephews if they're going to have a future. I'm tired of it. For any of us, this can't be how we continue to do things in this country. Pay us equally. Give us full citizenship and, yes, reparations because we deserve it. Six to seven 
one million slaves came over in this country. Six to seven million. And what have we gotten for all our hard work? We don't get to vote. You suppress that. Michelle, thank we you so much. We don't get equality, nothing, nothing in this country.